It's your boy Didn't Know Ball back with another video. So, hey, man, I don't know if you've been living under a rock, but Cooper Flag and Cameron Boozer is just on a whole different level when it comes to NBA prospects, bro. Uh, I know we done had the Victor Wimbayama hype and this and that, this and that, the Chets, the Palos, the Ants. Uh, but Cooper Flag and Cameron Boozer, are two of the most NBA ready draft prospects that I done seen in a long time. Um, top flight invite championship just happened. Cooper Flag plays for the Florida Eagles. Um, and Cameron Boozer plays for the Florida Explorers. Now, Florida Eagles pretty much demolished everybody they played. AZ Compass. Uh, Bishop O'Connell and Florida Explorers the same thing, but they had a little bit of a tougher tougher road because they played prolific prep and prolific prep had the, the third best high school prospect in my opinion, AJ DeBalancer, and probably the fourth when Tyron Stokes. Um, but let me just get to the game. First half, Cooper's flag just started off on fire, bro. Cooper Flag to me, my NBA comp for him is a hybrid between Andre Iguodala and Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Cooper Flag is about 6'9", 6'10". I'm pretty sure he going to measure with like a 7'1 wingspan, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and he has no flaws in his game offensively or defensively. He just needs to clean up some consistency issues in his offense. He's probably a little bit better balance on his jumpers, on his pull-up jumpers. Cooper Flag is just a game wrecker on defense. Cooper Flag probably has to be the greatest defensive prospect, uh, wing defensive prospect of all time. I'm talking about he's perfect. He's a perfect defender from his own ball to his off ball, switching ability, rebounding, rim protection. Uh, he's definitely the, the best help side defender I've ever seen at this stage. But he started off on offense seven for seven. Pull up, pull up middies, uh, put back one hand, put back uh, lay ins, the pull up three. Like he just can do it. Every he can just do everything, passing. Like there's nothing Cooper Flag can't do. And Cameron Boozer, Cameron Boozer is just he started off kind of bad. Like he was taking too many threes. I feel like at the beginning of the game, um, he just was. Settling, and the first half, man, my I want to call him my bird, but the Florida Eagles, they was blowing, they was blowing the Explorers out, they was blowing them out. Um, and then second half came, switch just turned on for Cam Boozer. Cam Boozer began to just take over the game in every aspect, from his passing to his scoring to his rebounding. Um. I think Jace Richardson had a good game. Caden Boozer had a couple in and outs on his jumpers. He probably settled too much, but it was hard to get anything in the paint because Cooper Flag just his rim protection as a as a forward is just crazy. Like he's the best help defender I've ever seen. Like he shades. I don't know. I can't. I don't even know what what to compare him to. Um, but. I'll say this. Jace Richardson, Caden Boozer is probably the best backcourt in high school. But Curtis Givens and Robert Wright for the Florida Eagles slash Montverde. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a backcourt too. Yeah. But man, this just was a battle, bro. If I had to choose between Cooper Flag and Cameron Boozer, I'm going Cooper Flag just because it's the defense. Like, Cameron Booz is a solid defender himself, but Cooper Flag is a game record defender, and he's going to be able to provide you with the offense. Cooper Flag, like I said, he reminds me of a, a Kawhi Leonard Iguodala hybrid, and Cameron Booz reminds me of a DeMonte Sabonis Kevin Love hybrid, but a little bit more athletic. Now, you take those comparisons and do what you want with them. But all in all, this was a good game. I think Ace of Newell's stock is rising. I think uh, Abdullahi for the Explorers, his stock is rising. Um, 
this just was overall, man, this was a high-level game. Both teams had a history of blowing teams out to get to the championship. And it looked like the Explorers was going to get blown out. But Cameron Bulls are just – he just put his cape on and he backpacked them until it was a close loss. Florida Eagles end up winning. And Cool Flag fell off in the second half offensively. But defensively, he, he wrecked the game in transition with his passing. Cooper Flag is just the ultimate prospect to me. I think he's the best prospect in high school basketball. Then it's Cameron Boozer. Cameron Boozer controls the game in so many different areas, but he doesn't wreck the game defensively like like a Cooper Flag. That's really the only difference defensively. Cooper Flag can literally wreck a game defensively, whether it's reading the passing lanes, blocking shots, switching. Like he could take he could take your best player out of the game. He can provide great help side defense at the rim. He just – he's the ultimate – he's the ultimate prospect, bro. And Cooper Flag is just those. He's the number one prospect. Cameron Booth is right behind him. And then number three is A.J. DeBouncer. And those two, Cooper Flag and Cameron Booth, are show why they're the best prospects in high school. But, yeah, man, let me know who y'all feel like the best three prospects in high school or if y'all have anybody that y'all want to add or – just let me know how y'all feel about this game. If y'all watched it, this is what you know about. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.